Hey guys, Rich here with some tips and tricks with home theater networking. Now if you're wondering why I'm bringing this up and you're buying new home theater equipment, the reason why is because almost all new gear that you're going to buy when buying a home theater system is going to want to connect to a network. I know you think it's kind of strange other than the fact that they use YouTube, Skype, and even Netflix now. But the other reasons why you want to hook them up to a network is for firmware updates and software upgrades. You might notice that your game consoles or even your TV or even your Blu-ray player will stop playing and doing certain applications because their firmware is not up to date. They're so close to being computers now that, well, even your TV has a built-in web browser when buying new TVs these days. So, some tips that I would say are, if you can, try and put your router as close as you can to your home theater gear. With me, since we almost all in this household use laptops now and or, or iPhones, what I've done is I've put the router actually at the TV and I hardlined everything there because 90% of the streaming we do, which requires a lot of bandwidth, is through the home theater gear. It's also so we can do, of course, the software updates. But the biggest thing is, is if you're using Netflix or even YouTube or your web browser through your TV or even, heck, even online gaming, you're going to definitely want to make sure that you have a good solid connection to the internet. Yes, you can hook them up through Wi Fi, but there's nothing better than Hardline. You just have so much more consistency with speed. You don't have to worry about any dro anything dropping out when you start up the blender, the microwave, or anything else. So, some uh, tips and the reasons why I'm bringing this up, of course, is say you have your Blu-ray player, you just picked it up, you throw in a Blu-ray disc. It's saying to you, you know, I can't play the disc. It doesn't recognize it. The software that ha is on the disc usually it says encoding. Well, your problem is now is you need to hook it up to the internet, but it's not only that, you also want to see the visual, so you have to hook it up to your TV. That's why it's always a lot nicer to have a router near your home theater gear. You don't technically have to have all your stuff plugged in all the time. If you have one really long networking cable, all you do is, you know, once a month, plug in that really long networking cable, plug it into the device, and do software updates. Make sure you plug it into, say, your Blu-ray player, your game consoles, and your TV. Even if you don't do online gaming, or if you're going to be using the internet features of your TV, plug it in anyway, just to keep your stuff up to date. Because who knows, with newer firmware, you might get a better options with your TV, or you might get better picture with your Blu-ray player, or with your game consoles, it redoes the interface and allows you to play different formats of discs, but also, say if you have jump drives with pictures and stuff on it, it allows you to stay up to date with the new formats so your devices can play the different formats your pictures are in and your movies. And as you can see, like with TELUS and even Shaw, they're all starting to go through Ethernet rather than going through the coax cables out of the side of your house. So that's as far as I'll pretty much go with the networking portion as I'm not fully in on the whole networking portion of computer systems and whatnot. I just thought I'd give you the reasons why you should plug your devices in. Alright, have a good one.